morning. It's nine o'clock and it's Wednesday night, so it must be the live stream. So welcome to Heather Boyd Wire and it's the Wire Lady TV episode. I think we're up to 21 now, which is crazy. And I'm actually at my parents' place, so I will just take you on a little walk down while everybody gets onto the live stream. It's a little dark down the hall here. Let's see what everybody's doing at my parents' place. So let me just, here, I'll turn the screen around. Do you guys want to say hello? Hi. Hello. Say, Hi. So you want to introduce yourselves? My name is Claire, <laughs> and I'm Mimi's best friend. And who are Hi. you, Mimi? My name is Mimi, yeah. and I'm Claire's best friend. And you guys are crafting. What are you making? Um, I'm drawing. Drawing and, and I'm doing embroidery. I'm doing emoji embo embroidery. Awesome, that's great. So I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, link some photos in our wire art and jewelry makers club. So I'm just going to come around and I'm going to come back in the studio while everybody hops on. If you guys want to introduce yourself, I'm going to plug in the iPod too because we're going to get started. And this week we are actually making a special request. We're going to work on some designs for ear cuffs. Now, that was a special request. Hey there. Hi, guys. Everybody's hopping on right on. That's great. So, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to just pull up the video on the uh, computer screen so I could see comments and stuff. Excellent. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to have to turn down the sound. Uh, sound is down that's awesome so let me turn around the screen now and we're gonna get started right away I'm actually filming this from Ottawa Ontario Canada hey Clarice how are you I'm gonna flip the screen we'll just turn it around and there we go down on my little table here just let me get it set up so we can see it well there we go perfectly and I just have to set myself up on a little high chair here so I could actually see the screen and see what I'm doing at the same time. So this week we have a special request to do some ear cuffs. So I did some, some little uh, sketches for some ear cuffs. Hey Rebecca, how are you? That's great, everybody's hopping on. And uh, so I did some sketches here. I've actually, believe it or not, never made one of these ear cuffs before. And um, in the Facebook group, uh, we, uh, we had some discussion about uh, whether I could do a tutorial or not. And I decided I'm just gonna wing it here on the live stream because you guys are so patient with me. And uh, <laughs> I always say that you're my guinea pigs, but I really mean that in as a term of endearment because you guys are so patient. I just think it's, it's amazing. So what I've done is I did a few sketches and I'm going to um, just bring over my, uh, my tools right away and then just get started trying to make some of these things. And whoever was on the live stream last week, we made these little button, uh, button um, bicycles uh, out of wire and bikes. So I have the tutorial on that from on last week, the replay of last week's live stream. And then uh, my most recent video was the little uh, skateboard a necklace and I'm actually wearing it so when I flip the screen I'll show you guys that one again so let's just get started with this and what I'm gonna do maybe I'll just I'm gonna move this paper over here so we have a little bit more oh my paper is not big enough it's all good we're gonna do the main the main tutorial just here so you guys can see what I'm doing and let me just try to read the comments too we're in Ottawa tonight oh that's so cool oh I love Oh, you lived there for six years in Ottawa. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, Ottawa's an amazing place. I grew up in Ottawa. I'm at my parents' place, and um, we come back quite a bit because we live in Montreal. It's only two hours away. So, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this artistic wire. Hi, Tabitha. And I'm. Uh, it's not the uh, copper wire, but you can use copper wire. This is brass wire, so it's a little bit stiffer uh, than the copper wire, which is probably good for this design because the ear cuff is a little bit fragile. So I'm going to use this um, brass wire, which is a little stiffer. I actually saw some tutorials where they use stainless steel wire, and I know the Artistic Grand does make stainless steel wire. So that's a possibility too. 
if any of you have made these ear cuffs below, just, um, or uh, ear cuffs, just post in the comments if you've made them or not, because uh, I'd be curious to know how many people have actually made them. I originally saw this design probably, oh, more than 20 years ago when I was on vacation out in Salt Spring Island, which is in the Gulf Islands in, um, off the west coast of uh, Vancouver of Can in Canada. And I remember seeing them and thinking they were so cute and so beautiful. And I kept meaning to make some and I never did. So I was motivated um, to make them this week. So we're just going to experiment. Like I said, I'm just winging it. So we'll just start by bending the wire, like not quite halfway. Because you want to start with a basic kind of curved area that goes on the ear. And I did look at a couple tutorials to get an idea. And what one of them said was to do about an inch and a half. I think this might be a little bit large, but I think I'll start with that and we'll just try it and see. I'm gonna start with this basic shape like this. And then the easiest way to do it is at halfway. So it would be at like three quarters of an inch. We're gonna bend one end up like that and then flip it and then the other end at about three quarters as well. We're going to adjust it all after, so not to worry too much about it. And then just to keep it super simple, let's just put a couple of beads on there. So we'll just stick a couple of little beads on there. I'm not quite sure what size is the best, so I don't think I want to go too, too big. So how about we'll just put... Clarice, did you like NYC, Heather? I loved NYC. Oh my goodness. Hi, Ishmita, how are you? Yeah, New York was amazing. The only problem we had with New York was just getting there um, in the car was a little tricky because uh, it's it's tricky driving in New York. The streets are and the roads are pretty crazy getting over the bridges, but we had an amazing time. Yeah, we really had an amazing time. So just to give a little idea, I'm going to just put a couple of little beads on here. And I'm going to keep this one really simple to do the design for the for this ear cuff. So if we just put a couple of little beads on there. And then from here, we could make a little, a little spiral. So for the spiral, what I like to do is just get... You're making this so amazing. Awesome. Well, we're just going to give this a try and see if this is going to work because this is the first time I've ever done this type of design before. So you guys are very patient because I'm just, just going for it. So what we're going to do is just try a little, we're going to start a little spiral like that. There's a few different ways you can make a spiral, but I'm going to just do it this way. I'm using my large round pliers. So we're going to go like that and I'm just going to clip one end off like that and then I want to tighten up the spiral so we're just going to tighten up a little bit we're just going to pull it in like that and just hold it and just with the flick of the wrist you just twist the spiral in like that and then you get your flat pliers just to flatten it out like that so there's a little spiral and actually I'm just going to go close the door because the girls are having too much fun. There we go. The girls are giggling in the other room. So I just closed the door for now. And they're working on their own craft projects. So here we go. So we've got this one side like that. And then you could put another couple of beads on the other side. You can make it symmetrical if you want. Let's just make it a little bit different on the other side just to have a little bit of variety because I'm not sure if the big wire or the big bead is going to be so great uh, on the ear or not like it might be too bulky so let's just try this and see so if we do this one and then we're just going to bend the wire like this and now maybe just to make it a little more decorative I'm just going to bend a, do a little design on here I'm really just playing around with this to see see what works well. So I'm just going to do like a big squiggly and then another way to make the spiral is rather than starting with the circle you can just cut it to about two inches. This is another way to make a spiral and because the wire is quite uh, soft and forgiving we're just going to take this and like this and just pull it in like that and then you could either use your hand like your thumb 
and your finger to push it in, or you can use the pliers. It's just as easy with a thumb and finger. If you need to tighten it up, you can tighten it up a little bit with the pliers. And then it's always a good idea to use the pliers to flatten it. So this is what we've got so far. Like I said, I've never made these before, so this is super interesting. So now we're going to get a Sharpie just for the round form and just hold it with your thumb and pull it around. And there actually are special pliers you can get. I believe they're called mandrel pliers that actually have large circles on them. So if you wanted to invest in some special equipment, you can certainly do that. But I think for today, we're just going to because I don't actually have those pliers. We're just going to, but look at already, it's so cute and really adorable. And then what you can do is just take these pliers to fix it up a little bit more. We're just going to tighten it up. And I don't know if it's going to fit on my ear. I'm going to need a couple a more pairs of hands to do this with. And maybe what I could do is try it on one of the girls after. But I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to quickly flip the screen and try it on myself. Let's see if I can do it that way. So I'm going to bring this around, flip the screen. There we go. So how can I do this that I have enough hands? So if I do this, and then you would have your ear hook, like your ear thing like that, and you would just kind of pinch it on your ear like that. I'm just seeing if it's a good size. I think it might, next time I might do it a little bit looser, but it's hard to see. It's not, so thank you so much. I'm going to flip the screen back and maybe I'm going to, for the next one, I'm going to get one of the girls to come in to, um, to experiment with it. So let's bring it back. So that was, this one was with doing it about an inch and a half. And I'm thinking maybe for this next one, we'll do it a little bit. We'll make the distance a little bit less. So for this one, what I'm going to actually do is use sterling silver wire because I've made one and it seems to work okay. I actually have, this is my little special bag of sterling. Kids filming, hello, how are you? We're making these cute, and Janine, it's, it's a, not a bad first try, eh, Janine? Yeah, so here's the, the first try. And what I'm going to do now is use my sterling silver wire. I'll tell you a little bit about sterling silver wire. It comes in a couple of different sizes. This is actually called argentium sterling wire, which is supposed to be less tarnished than most uh, sterling wires. See, it's called, I don't know if you can see that, it's called argentium. And this one is actually, they call it half hard which is um, like sort of an average strength. And then this one is called dead, DS means dead soft, which means it's very soft. So I probably wouldn't use the soft one because it's good, maybe not gonna hold its shape as much. But what I would do is I'm actually going to clean this wire. And what you use to clean the wire is this um, cloth. It's a special uh, jewelry maker's cloth. It's a little bit toxic. You want to wash your hands after you use it. So on the red side, there's a sort of a chemical embedded in it that cleans the wires. So rather than buying that messy Silvo stuff, I get so much from seeing your creative process. I'm so happy. That is so, you guys are awesome. So we're going to just clean this with the, um, with the uh, red cloth. And Leanne, hi from Australia. I found your channel yesterday. I'm so happy. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, welcome from Australia. That is so cool. What's the weather like in Australia now? It's super. I was just saying, it's so funny. I made it to your live. Yay, finally. All right, welcome. So I'm just cleaning the, the, um, the wire with this special cloth. Yeah, I was just talking to somebody about Australia today. Oh, it's freezing <laughs> because I was saying that your winter is our summer and vice versa. But yet in your summer, it goes up to 40 degrees, which is crazy. Yeah, that's very, that's very hot. So, so 40, I'm talking uh, Celsius here, in case you're wondering. So let's just cut a little piece of wire. This is the silver. So this one is, um, I want to be a little more careful with not wasting the silver because it is quite expensive. So let's start the same way we started our other one. We're just going to do a little, a little bend, not quite at halfway. Now, the first one I did was 
I made it about an inch and a half, which and I found it a little too much. So let's just make it quite a bit smaller. Let's just go for, let's go for an inch. Let's just see what we got. Nothing to lose, right? Well, if it doesn't work, we'll make one. We'll make the next one an inch and a quarter. So if we make one e of each size, then we're bound to get the right, the right uh, size. Ashmita, these wires are what I wanted to know. It will be easier for me to make mine. That's perfect because, and what I'll do after, guys, is I'll definitely put in the link under the um, under the video exactly what kind of wire you can use and where to buy it. So that's going to help you a lot. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. At about halfway, we're going to bend one end up and one end down. Excuse if my screen goes blurry every now and then. I'm not exactly sure why it does that. And there's not too much I could do about that because it is on my iPod and I don't think it has a focus thing. Even if I touch the screen, it doesn't seem to be doing much. So, oh, there we go. Focused again. Yay. Maybe we're just giving our eyes a rest. So what we're going to do for this one, so I put one up and one down. Now, if we just decide to make this one a little more uh, decorative without without the beads, we can do that too. So we can actually just kind of go back and forth just to make it just more kind of a general wire one and you can go up as high as you want and then if you want to make the end a little fancy again you can actually do you can do the spiral again but to do the spiral what you would do is just clip it because you want this end to be flush and then you would just take the round small round pliers and just with the flick of your wrist this one is a little bit stiffer than the than the brass wire so we'll just go around like this and we're just gonna pull it right around like that so there's one kind of end like that and what I'm gonna do is just bring this down a little bit like that I did a few sketches for different ideas and we're just going to see which one's going to work. And then for this side, I think what I'm going to do is just going to do like a giant spiral there. So let's just do, do a spiral on that side. But what I want to do is I want the inner hole to be a little bit larger. So I'm using my larger pliers. And we'll just kind of pull this around like that. Okay. And if you need help getting gripping onto it you could grip it with the pliers a little bit or you can do it just with your fingers like this so let's just see how this is going to look if we just pull it in like that okay so if we have one end a little bit like that and then this end a little bit like that we're just going to see how it's going to go and then what I was thinking it would be cool is just to hang a bead down off one of those sides. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to start the process of turning the wire with the big pliers like that and then this one like that a little bit because this wire is a little harder. Our large harbor sales sees heaps of cheap bulk wire in all different gauges and sizes. That's cool. Yeah. You want to be a little careful with this wire for this the ear um the ear cuff if your ears are sensitive but generally you know a steel wire would work the copper wire the best wire it's just some people are allergic to metal so you might want to be a little bit careful with it but here's sort of another idea for the ear cuff and if you need to like pull this in a little bit more you can okay and then what I was thinking would be really cute would be just to dangle a little bead off of there so we can I'm gonna just go ahead and try it on this one and then we're gonna see how it works yeah steel wire is good sometimes it's not as shiny as silver wire but it's pretty good the steel wire so let's now because I don't have any jump rings with me but if you did have a jump ring you could actually dangle beads on there with a jump ring but because I don't I'm just gonna go ahead and use the silver wire again so we'll just do a little bit of a loop and then up like that, okay? And now we're just gonna add a couple of beads on there. So let me see what I've got. I have some nice kind of shimmery, like here's a nice little 
faceted shimmery bead. So let's stick that one on there. And then I have a nice little collection of seed beads here. So let's see what I have in there. I have some that are a little bit iridescent. We can stick one of those on there. And depending on how long you want them to hang down, you can put a few. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually not even 100% sure I'm going to stick the, oh, here's a nice one. I'm not 100% sure, sure I'm gonna use these ones because I just remembered I had another idea of something I wanted to do, but let's just go for it. We're just gonna put a few beads on there. Okay, we'll just put a few beads like that. Just a little, a little kind of design. And then what you can do is cut it to about half an inch. So cut it to about half an inch like that. And then we're going to bend it back and around, okay? So you would have like a big loop on here and then you could actually just loop it onto, onto here. Okay, so we'll just kind of get it in there. Whoops, a little bit tricky. You want to make sure you made enough space in here. Yes, yeah, so we could just hang it and you could actually dangle it down like that. Actually, that one's really cute. Let's just go, let's just go with this. Okay, so I'm gonna close up my loop and then I'll make another quickie one to do my other idea with. So let's just go ahead and, and close the loop up. So it's closed and then if you, you might want to pull this one in a little bit to make it so that way it actually dangles. So that's, that's obviously I try new designs every day. That's all. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these. So this is pretty cute. Like it dangles down like that. And then the other thing I wanted to do, uh, which was one of the reasons I actually wanted to do this ear clip to begin with was my friend Renee her name is Renee Mollet. She's my yoga teacher, but she also makes these gorgeous, gorgeous hand-painted uh, earrings. But the trouble is my ears are so sensitive that I can't even wear them. So what I'm going to do is actually remove the hook. I, I already even tried changing them to a sterling hook and it didn't work for me. So I'm going to try to remove the hook and I want to put that on an ear cuff. So let's go ahead and make another one. I could even do it in the blue wire. No, I think I'll use the silver wire. So we'll go back to the silver wire. I'm just going to, again, use my special jewelry cloth just to clean it. And these ones, I don't know where you can buy what kind of... Maybe even Michaels might have a jewelry cloth like this. But for sure you can order it online. And I'll find one on uh, Amazon or something and I'll link it up below so you guys can... If you need a jewelry thing, you can, you can, uh, yeah, if you need a jewelry cleaner thing, you can, uh, I'll let you know where you can buy it. So let's make this one super simple to hang the, um, that one on. So we've done a one inch, we've done one and a half inches. So let's try one and a quarter inches. So if I just bend this like that, and then let's just go to one and a quarter. Okay, one and a quarter inches. Okay. Oh, there we go. So there's one and a quarter inches like that. So we would just start with that basic shape. I'm too fond of using old stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's just do the same thing. We're gonna bend this one up, okay, again, and then bend this one down. And what I wanna do here is, I don't think I'm gonna put any beads on it either, but I'm go I am gonna make it a little fancier and I want it to hang down a little bit. So let's just do that same thing where we go back and forth. Okay, and then you're, you're gonna see when we actually try them on the ear, we'll probably have to adjust them a little bit. So let's just go back and forth like that. Keep it very simple. And then I'm going to bend the wire into a, a little loop at the bottom. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. So. If we just do something simple like that, I can tighten it up a little bit if I want. And like I said, these are just really the prototypes. You know, I'll, it's when I, once I try them on and stuff, I'm gonna see how they're gonna have to be adjusted. But let's keep it simple for now. So if we just do like that, very simple shape, and then I go ahead and do our spiral again. 
on this wire. We'll do it the same way we were. Just take the end and just bring it in. And we can make this spiral quite tight because this, this spiral will kind of sit on the ear. I've actually never worn one of these, so I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to fit, but we're going to check it out. So if we go like that and we tighten it up, so we'll have like, this will be the top, this will be the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to get this, do the same thing. We're going to get these, uh, the Sharpie, or you can get any kind of round form. Or like I said, if you have the, that special pliers that's called the mandrel, you can do that too. So we're going to just start the little curve like that and then get these pliers and bend them in a little bit. I'm leaving now, but you're watching the whole video. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for hopping on and definitely, Ashmita, definitely come back and watch the whole thing and I'll have links below of where to buy everything. That's awesome that you, that you came on. I really appreciate it. So there we go. So we're going to loop that in kind of like that. And so we've got that hook. Now, my idea was let's try to actually attach this onto here and see what's going to happen. And then I can, once it's the earring is on, then I can figure out exactly how it's going to look. So let's open up that little loop. In fact, I think I'm going to clip it just a teeny bit. We'll just clip that one a little teeny bit. Okay, and we're just going to... Uh, bend this one a little bit. It's really warm in here, actually. I'm at my parents' place. They're on the 17th floor, and uh, uh, we haven't... My poor dad is trying to put all the screen windows on, and he hasn't had a chance to do them yet. So it's actually morning here, and you're... Oh, you're you're in the morning. That's awesome. Yeah, we're 9 o'clock at night, so it's a little dark out right now. And... Uh, yeah, it's still warm outside though because we had a really warm day. We kind of jumped from winter to summer and didn't have much spring. So there we go, guys. Look at how cool that is. I just attached this uh, Renee's uh, hand-painted item onto the earring hook. So we're gonna see how they're actually going to fit. So let me just let me just see if my daughter's around that she can help me to try these on. Let's just see. Miriam? Yeah. Can you guys come? I need someone to try this on. Okay, so my my guinea can, thanks guys. They're, they're turned up pretty good. Good, eh? These three. So now we have to just see how we can adjust them. But I made so and Claire and but what we're gonna have to do is try to flip the screen around. Who wants to hold the camera and who wants to uh, try them on? Um there we, there we go. We're going to flip the screen. The camera. So, okay. So, is that good? Are you okay with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Mimi's going to hold the camera. and But you, if you could bring it up close. Hi! <laughs> she hijacked the camera. So, Claire. Okay. So, it's really, okay, so this is you, really hot, your camera. Oh, wait. Oh, is it an earring? It's It goes not in the ear, but it just it goes on the ear. So, let's just oh. see what we could do. So, if you want to bring the camera up close, like to her ear. So the idea is, here's the one, this is the first one we made that was a little bit like, it was a one and a half inches wide, so it was a little bit we'll too wide. Too. Oh, there we go, we, we go like that. Let me just bring that, does it hurt? Sorry. Oh, Sorry, okay. yeah. So the idea is we're going to bend this in, it's, don't worry, it's not poking your ear. Is it pinching too much? I, I can handle okay, it. Okay, so it's, it's <laughs> pinching her a little bit too much. So let's just open it up a little bit. So... Okay, I don't want to hurt her, so let's just <laughs> let's just bend this a little bit. I think the idea that I heard is you have to actually bend this in a little bit for it to sit. But I think the thing is I probably made it a little bit too wide. But this is the idea. Whoa, guys, it worked. <laughs> Do you I'm see not it? Moving. <laughs> it looks pretty good. That's amazing. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so now how about this one? Can we try this one on? Do you want mine? Do you want me to do one on sure. yours? Okay. So Claire, you want to hold it and we'll do one on Mimi? Yeah. Okay. Make sure okay. you go follow me at Mimi B Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. She's going to come after you if you don't. So this is Mimi. Mm -hmm. And we've got this too cute. Yeah, they're cute, these girls. So here's, here's, a, little, here's a little, um, here's a little, the second one that we made that was so 
smaller. I think this one we made was one inch. Okay, so let's just turn your head and we're gonna just stick this up here. And this one's cute because it has a little dangling, um, a little dangling piece. So I'm just adjusting it as I go, just to make sure it's gonna fit on her ear. But whoa, but we have to pinch it a little bit so it stays. Scream if it's too tight. Are we okay so far? Yeah, I think they really, you know, it's really a matter of just really adjusting. Oh my God, it's beautiful! So there we go. Number two worked. Oh, it just, Yay. Well, oh, it just <laughs> fell off. <laughs> Oops. But I'm sure if you pinch it a little bit more, it's going to stay. And then now we have to try number three, which is this beautiful one that my friend Renee made. So let's Ooh, try this one. That's pretty. It's pretty, eh? So we just have to see how it's going to fit and which side of the ear it's better to go on. Maybe it's gonna be better on this oh. side. Let's just try. So if we're gonna poke, put it up here. Oh. Oh, sorry, <laughs> we're put it up here. And we're just gonna bend that in a little bit. Oh, she's got my hair. Oh, I got your hair, oops. <laughs> yeah, the key is to they have- They are really beautiful. They're pretty, eh? Oh, so this is the idea. Thank and then we you. bend it. Oh, wow, just don't, shake your head but look how pretty that is oh my goodness i think our experiment works so everyone you guys want to get in so that was awesome and uh and we're actually gonna we're gonna actually go out for ice cream now <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching oh and hi to the new person who just came oh beautiful yay <laughs> thanks tabitha and i'm i'm afraid i was really occupied with this uh diy i didn't even look at most of your comments and i'm so sorry but if there are any questions in the comments i'm going to check the replay i'm going to put all the links below to all the materials and supplies and uh there's more people coming on when you're leaving oh <laughs> no well now we gotta go because the ice cream shop start uh closes at 10. <laughs> so thanks everybody yes. for watching and next week we'll be back and uh back in montreal and do live stream every um every uh wednesday, wednesday at nine o'clock and uh, if you guys don't forget to join the facebook group the wire art and jewelry makers club Sorry, we have to go and we gotta go but we'll see you the next time the music said that bye bye. 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 bye thanks for watching guys oh bye